Hi, my name is Ruman Khan and in this video I'll be showing how to add SLA tires in MuleSoft API Manager. I'm currently logged in into API Manager and I already have an API Manager configured to point to this particular URI. Let's browse through this URI. And currently browsing to this URI will return a success status message. Now let's go back to the policies and see there are no policies added to this particular URI and going to the SLA tires there are no SLA tires added so to add an SLA tire let's click on add SLA tire and let's name it basic now just add a description And for approval process, either you can select manual or automatic. Since this is basic, I'll just select automatic. So we can also add limits to this particular tire, indicating how many requests within the time period. So let's say we'll allow three requests in a time period of 30 seconds. Click on add. So this way we can add SLA tire. We can also add additional tires if we want to. So let's just add a premium tire indicating this is premium. And for approval process, leave it as manual. And for number of requests, we can say 10 requests in a time period of one second. Say add. So now we have two SLA tires. Now that we have two tires, let's go back to the settings. And adding these tires doesn't really do anything to the API itself. Let's try to navigate back to the API. And as you see, there is no impact on the API as such. Now let's go to settings and try to use those tires. So in order to use the tires, we have to have a API portal. So let's create a new portal. So I'll just write some description here, test SLA tires and save that. Mark the portal public and click on live portal. Now that we have the portal, we can request API access and create a new application. Let's say basic client. So in the description, I'll just mention Test to use basic SLA tire. Say add. Now we see a SLA tire drop down, so we can select basic, and it shows number of requests and the time period over here. Let's say request API access. Since we had the request as auto approved, we get our client ID and client secret. So I'll just copy that. Now let's go back to our URI and mention the client ID and client secret here. So having this client ID and client secret doesn't really limit the API calls. So what we really need to do is go back to the API manager and we need to add a new policy. Select rate limiting SLA based and click on apply. Basically, this policy does two things. One, it will force the clients to have a client ID and client secret in the URL. And second, it would also limit the number of requests based upon the tire the client ID and client secret falls into. So in our case, since we are using a client ID and client secret of a basic tire, it should limit us now for only three requests in 30 seconds. Now let's try to test it out. So as you see, now we got API calls exceeded here. 
Coming back to the portal, let's try to uh, request an API access for our premium client. Say new application. In the description, I'll just mention test for premium SLA tire. Say add. And in the SLA tire, select premium. It says 10 requests in a time period of one second. So once I hit on request API access, it says your request has received and is pending approval. Since we had selected manual approval in this particular tire, the admin has to log in and manually approve this particular request. And you can also see the client ID and client secret here. However, if I use this particular client ID and client secret, it would still not work as the request has not been approved by the admin. So let's quickly try, try this out. I'll use the client ID, it's this, and secret. As you see, the error message indicates invalid client ID. So in order to approve this particular client, I will have to go back to the API manager. Let's go back here to API administration page and click on client applications and inside select the premium client. This is where your client applications are shown and then select contract, select the API version. And here you can see options to approve, reject, or delete. So let me just approve this particular client. Now that I have the client approved, if I go back here and refresh this, this URL, I should see a success message. And since it is on premium tire, we are not stuck to the three requests per 30 seconds limit as in basic tire. Let's try to test that out. So as you can see, I can try more than three requests for 30 seconds here. Before I close, I also want to show another policy which is on the same lines of SLA tire. Let's go back to the API manager and select the API manager here. Select policies, click on apply new policy and as you see, there is also a throttling SLA based policy. This is similar to rate limiting policy. The only difference between throttling and rate limiting policy is throttling has a feature to queue the requests and retry them after a certain delay. Let's quickly try to look at it. I'll just disable this for now. Apply new policy, throttling SLA based and select configure. So as you see, the client ID and expression, client secret remain the same here. The additional details in throttling policy is delay time in milliseconds and delay attempts, which lets throttling policy to queue the request and retry them after certain milliseconds before giving up. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you.